that tankers of Blitz Universe. Today's episode Supremacy Make or Break. It has got to be one of the most controversial and talked about decisions by Wargaming to change the game, uh, to change World of Tanks Blitz and add a new game mode uh, where you have to either cap three bases or kill all the enemies within time or make the count go up to 1000 and then you can uh, win. Um, the comments on the video where the first game of the update was a supremacy game um, showed that a lot of people are not happy with it and um, the high DPMs, uh, the high DPM machines, the fast machines like a T-54 I'm driving here, they seem to be well in an advantage uh, in the game. Um, and the slower tanks, KV-4s, T-28s, T-28 Proto, uh, you name them. Um, they are at a disadvantage. Um, but I'd like to show you two games. I'm driving with uh, T95 player extraordinaire uh, uh, Captain One Eye from Emperor's Clan. Um, he drives, well, mostly T95s. I would, would almost say anything uh, but a T95. But he also ventured into uh, um, the realms of Cromwell. He has a T110 E5 over there, so there might be a bit of hope for him. But all kidding aside, he does a proper job in the T95. Uh, has his own ways about playing the game, but you can always rely on him on stopping a uh, a flank, holding a flank, and doing damage. Um, back to supremacy. Like I said in the preview, you have to either kill all the enemies, and you get 30 or 40 points depending on what tier they are, top tier or bottom tier, um, or cap uh, bases and hold them in your possession. But that's what you have to do, and this type of gameplay, I've said it in the preview already, it's very, very dynamic. Um, even, um, I would not I would go as far as saying as it, it's, it's chaotic um, at best. Um, because there's a lot going on. As you can see, Red have uh, two bases in their uh, possession at the moment. Um, but it's even far easier to kill uh, all the Red tanks. Uh, Wargaming have been trying to make the Iron Fist, or um, which is all the tanks together just thundering down a road and um, getting five, six guns, maybe seven to bear on one lone target. They have tried to uh, negate those advantages by uh, changing the maps, uh, by changing spawn points, etc. But it just doesn't seem uh, to work like they intend to. Um, because uh, Supremacy, it does pay off to be together, to have all the tanks together, to work as a plan. Um, you could see it at the beginning. Captain One, I asked for uh, us to go into the town, capture bases uh, B and C first. I don't know which one were in the town actually, but uh, the bases in town first. And only then, and even if possible, and if needed, capture the one on the hill. Because the T-95 is a low slumbering beast, uh, but has thick frontal armor, and we pretty much um, tailored our tactics and our strategy of the game around it. Uh, we made good use of its armor, of its firepower, and of the fear factor that the T-95 uh, poses. And here it is again, CBA, Captain calling the targets. He's closest to uh, base C, so I'm heading over there. He told me not to rush, so I won't rush. But I will cap this base anyway. As you can see, Red is capturing base B, we are capturing C, all fine and dandy, uh, nothing really special. They've captured B, we are going to capture C in a few seconds. And it's at this point, um, because I've played a few Supremacy Battles before with um, newbies, with new players, and the biggest problem is that they are starting to freak out if they see all those call signs, red is capturing base, base B, uh, red team is capturing base A, etc. Yes, you can reset uh, the cap, um, but you can also rely on team. You can see it over here that Borsi just derps at type 59 to death. Um, and that's what I was doing. I was sitting there, I knew the big gun, the big tank destroyers were rolling up behind me. So no, um, no need for me to go out of the cap area going to try to take on the Yakpan 2 and the Panther 2 and the Leopard and the T-32 on my own. I'm just driving around here in the neighborhood of um, uh, Captain 1 and ST-95, which is a very ditch way uh, to tell it, but I'm staying near uh, Captain 1i, 
and I might not even uh, do a lot of damage here and it's only uh, one on one and red F2 bases but never in this game did I feel like we were going to lose because a quick look to my right assures me Captain One Eye is on top he is uh, full health and a full health T95 at 2-1 in the lead um, that's gonna be a massive advantage you can see the T32 big chunk taken out of him is either from Captain or from the boss you can another bit taken out of him I don't get the kill shot at first I do get it now probably could have used a uh, high explosive as well but you can see here T26 E4 go fight or we lose by points that is the kind of um, the kind of thinking that uh, new players with less experience have and um, I think it's a bit of a mistake to start uh, playing uh, supremacy when you are uh, in the tier 5 uh, tank you may have well ground your way up to a KV-1 or a Chihu or a Stuk-3 and you want to play supremacy just because it's possible but it, there's a lot going on and you need a lot more experience that said slow tanks do have their place in supremacy I really hope it will be available in update 3.1 uh, in training rooms it's not available in training room at the moment but Wargaming has said in the news article they are looking at making it available in training rooms in the future and I really really hope they do that because I think supremacy is for well experienced players only at the moment or for those players who know how to work as a team thank you all for watching again Cheers, stay safe on the battlefield and I wish you all a happy tanking.